I've already given your time away. You can't do it twice, Lee. Okay. All right. Um, Paula, Pamela, Forsythe. Okay. Ms. Bohannon, you have six minutes. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Larry Donna Bohannon, 5343 CL Road. And I, and I will continue to pray for you, sir, for your full health and recovery when you, as you leave Thank the you. council. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wanted to let you know, too, that I uh, came up here and gave Kevin Blunt of the ABC Tree Trimming Company my information so that he can contact me to be on my radio show, AM 1600. WMQM on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5 to 6. He said he would call me and he would come on the show. Uh, I am more than willing to give him free advertisement. And his name is Kevin Blunt, B-L-O-U-N-T. And uh, I wanted to share with you also that this is a Christian radio station. And we play nice there and we encourage people. And, and I'm all about being a public servant and building up people and building up community. And that's why I'm really interested in the ABC Tree Trimming Company because I appreciate the things that have been said here about keeping money here in Memphis, keeping people employed here in Memphis, and building up people, loving people. And sometimes our love can be tough love when truth doesn't fall on the right side of the law. So we talk about that too. But I wanted to share with you also, I bet I can get a lot of people at AM 1600 to give free advertisement to Kevin Blunt of ABC Tree Trimming Company that's located in Texas. And I wanted to say that I'll ask Sherry Hopper of the 19 Strong Show on AM 990. And I will ask Mike Williams, uh, AM 990, uh, other people that work at 1600. And again, I want to make sure that you understand that 1600 is a Christian radio station, and that's why I chose to work there and have a show. And I do that at my own expense. And I do this as a public service because I am a public servant. That's how I've spent my life, and even in Central America, giving free service. And uh, I'm about public safety and protecting the uh, citizens in Memphis and making sure that the hungry and hurting people are employed. And we can do that through advertising properly, properly for ABC Tree Trimming Company. And I'm offering that to ABC Tree Trimming Company. I wanted to go further and say this, that the opt-out is extremely important. Opt out at any time for free because this is what Mr. Jerry Collins has been saying on the record here. He has given his word, and we will honor that word together as we work together to do the right thing for Memphis. And I don't even know this lady, Ro, Ro, Lorraine Rowe Ro Leader, but I, I like what she had to say. And she came looking for somebody who, is this the right place to talk about smart meters? And she just happened to ask me. And, and I appreciate her getting up here and speaking since she's not a public speaker. And really, folks, neither am I because this is one of the most awful things I have to do is get up here and talk in front of people. But on the radio, it's a different story. Um, and, and, sir, I want uh, those that uh, to fully understand that sometimes our votes have unintended consequences. And, and an un unintended consequence of voting for the smart meters means this, that you're going to double and triple our bills. It's going to create more poverty, poverty and blight because people are already saying they're going to move in with relatives and friends. And uh, um, for the public safety, as far as uh, protecting your property and human life with the fires that are going to come and have come from these meters, we have a list of the dead that have been settled in and out of court. This is a surveillance device, and, we, and I'm interested in the public safety on the EMF and the RF that's coming with this. I'm on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, AM 1600, 5 to 6 p.m., and... Um, Friday, please tune in because I'm going to have an international expert, Curtis Bennett, on that, and I've spent about five hours on the air, radio and TV with him on it already. And it's really important that the chairman of uh, the Memphis Light, Gas and Water uh, Committee uh, hear this, and I'd actually like uh, perhaps to have him on in the future. But check out our page, Get Smart Memphis and Liberty in Action. Those are both Facebooks. And I want a win-win situation when I come here to talk to my elected uh, leaders. And we can conduct business together and make it a win-win situation. And that's what we try to do on AM 1600. I personally try to do that. And um, there's some outstanding things that have taken place. And one of the things I want to congratulate all of you on is the fact that you believe in free speech and that you don't want to try and sit your, set your, shut your citizens up and shut them down. I appreciate that because this is a constitutional right, and I do so appreciate that that's being recognized for the citizens. This is our only time to talk to you. And, and today I was able to get six minutes, I think, and I really don't know how to read that thing up there. And I've been here quite a few times to speak. Yes, sir, ma'am, thank you. Um, we are going to be creating more blight 
with uh, these smart meters, I do believe, because, and um, again, I'm on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm also doing a public service announcement for our fallen heroes with Donna Kirk. I think she's already gone, but her contact number is 877-424-9311, and I'll be advertising for her on my show for free. And that's just some of the things that we do through media, and that we're all about building up people, building up community, and doing it in love so that there is a win-win situation, so that we can get our hungry and hurting hired, and we can take care of business with ABC Tree Trimming Company if advertising is just properly done by that company. And uh, again, go to our Facebook, Get Smart Memphis, learn all about what we know about smart meters. Join us on Friday at 5 to 6 p.m. on uh, 1600 a.m. And again, that is a Christian station. And uh, we try to do the right thing there. And uh, again, we can conduct business here together. And all the folks that are leaving, some I'm going to miss more than others. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the laughter, Mary Leg Strickland. And, um, but we're conducting business here. And when we come up here, when I come up here, this is not personal. It's about conducting business and doing what's right for Memphis and what's doing right for these city employees that have had your pensions and benefits adjusted to the negative. And I was here all 18 months. Counting. And I'll be here until we reestablish what you were promised and what I paid for as a taxpayer. Thank so, you, Ms. Bullhannon. All right. Yes, sir. And thank thank you. you so much. All right. Minister Yahweh.